what's your vision of Oracle Grid infrastructure products in the next five years? Well, uh, we are already working on uh, uh, many features of uh, the cloud, as it's going to be called now, and real application cluster. And you will see some, some of them in the next release. But the major thing are going to be, first of all, performance improvement on Rack. We always do a little bit of that every release. In this release, you're going to see some uh, major improvement on, in the Rack. Uh, performance and uh, scalability. Um, <clears throat> we are doing uh, specific things for uh, um, try to run a lot of uh, the lock manager and uh, the speed lock manager in the kernel itself, in the OS kernel itself. In addition to that, you will see a lot of uh, development in the autonomic arena. We are, as you know, when you start to put uh, many machines together and uh, in a cloud or in a grid environment, the interference that you can have between application becomes severe and it becomes quite difficult for customer to figure out how an application impacts another application. So that's the major thrust that we are going to do in the next several release of Oracle. And uh, in a way, that is the final frontier, right? Get, get the machine to start to auto-tune uh, and optimize itself. In addition to that, as part also of the um, uh, autonomic stuff, as we call it, uh, uh, we are going to try to figure out when a machine is going to fail. You know, before a lot of time when a machine is trying to, to fail, you, you can look at it and see a few minutes before. Sometimes it's sudden and there is nothing you can do about that. But many times you will see the performance or the degradation of the machine or the machine or the software just just starts to, to, to deteriorate over several minutes. And in those situations we are developing technology to uh, put the machine back in order to reduce the load or do the necessary step, make the necessary step to uh, uh, avoid the failure completely. And you can imagine the benefit of that, right? Customer will have better experience, uh, less failure, uh, less support call, and so on. So there's going to be benefit all around. In addition to that, we're going to have uh, a lot of work that is going to be done in the in the uh, provisioning area, okay, for the grid okay. infrastructure provisioning and uh, and uh, patching. Okay. How many resources do you spend to development for rock and grid infrastructure? How many months? Yes. Uh, well, we or people. Yeah. Well, the, the team is very large, uh, uh, very very large. We started with about fifteen people when we first did. Uh, the uh, the first version, and now it's going grown into the several hundreds. It is a very very large team. Uh, this team is one of the few that has its own dedicated uh, test environment and performance group. Because as you can understand, it's it developing uh, distributed or cluster environment is is hard. Uh, but uh, we generally try to put a release out together with the database, so it's about 18, uh, it's about 18 months, uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes it's longer than that. But, but generally that's what we try to do. We try to make our release coincide with the regular database release for obvious reason. You know, if we have to have our own release, then it's a lot of overhead uh, uh, in uh, management you know, the release management, patch management, and so on. What by, by going with database, we can just reduce the number of people uh, dedicated to my team. So we can dedicate ourselves mostly to develop software. Okay. Will could infrastructure products stay standalone products, or does Oracle plan a closer integration similar to Oracle Enterprise Links or to Oracle Database? Well, um, Oracle has been known to be an open uh, company, um, and we, as I expect, you know, you never know on this thing, but I expect to be 
continue to be open uh, these um, you know all the grid infrastructure given that I say that there might be some specific feature you know that uh, uh, might become an engineered system but it is you know generally we do not I do not like to do that uh, of course Larry may have other thoughts but generally our view uh, is to be an open an open uh, system and to put all the features in uh, uh, you know for old platform now with HPUX you know maybe something different but all the other platform definitely uh, they will be there okay with the future versions of grid infrastructure products concede with the releases of the Oracle database oh yeah absolutely uh, they will they always do that. Uh, we, we try to, to keep uh, those release uh, schedules. Um, there is not just one caveat to that, and it is the cloud file system. The cloud file system, we, even though we try to coincide with the database release, sometime we want to put um, a new release out a little bit faster. So if a feature is, is done a little bit sooner, then we try to ship that um, immediately. The reason for that is it does not, it's pretty standalone, so it doesn't impact the database at all. It doesn't destabilize the, the, the database. Even though it rides on, on ASM, it's automatic storage management. It can it really is, is a standalone product. Will in the future, we might consider some of this autonomic stuff that's really on top of the database to to ship but to ship them a little bit sooner but you know there are no definite plans there the plan is always to ship with the database but we'll judge it you know we look at the market we look at the competition and then we may make some different judgment okay thank you very much well thank you to you, thank you. it was great goodbye but take care thank you thank you